too late for Harry. Charles finally cuts tie with Harry as replaces his role with Anne's husband. Prince Charles is expected to not re-invite his son Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle back to the royal fold, as per a royal expert quoted by Mirror UK. Royal expert Neil Sean took to his YouTube account to state that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are bound to be replaced by other members of the royal family as the firm looks to utilize those already working for it to step forward instead of the Sussexes. As per Sean, as we've seen over the last 18 months, for Harry and Meghan, it's proven a very difficult transitional period. He explained, Harry and Meghan, really felt that at some point, they would have to return because they thinned down the monarchy. But they have decided not to re-invite Harry and Meghan back. Sean continued, it's other members of the British monarchy who are stepping forward and showing their mettle. One, in particular, is the husband of Princess Anne, Admiral Tim Lawrence. It has been claimed, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's bombshell exit from the royal family forced Prince Charles to shelve plans for a slimmed-down monarchy. Their exit put a huge strain on Prince Charles' plans to slim down the monarchy when he is king, royal expert Katie Nicholl has claimed. She discussed the popularity of the royal family with Vanity Fair staff writer Erin Vanderhoof in The Young Generations. Speaking on Vanity Fair's Dynasty podcast, Ms. Nicholl said, The challenge is there is a generational divide and we saw that, particularly after Meg's sit. The older generation saw Meghan and Harry leaving as a betrayal but the younger generation had no problem with it. In some ways, it's the younger generation that needs to be convinced there can be a place for a hereditary monarchy in a modern society. Ms. Vanderhoof continued, What will Charles do? His vision for a slimmed-down royal family is well known but what does that mean for his nieces and nephews who are already in the public eye? Is he willing to scale back the family's participation in public events for the sake of keeping a firewall between the monarchy? When I talked to Sally Bedell Smith she said that Charles had wanted to marginalize his siblings a bit more than he already has but he still needs Edward and Anne to carry the load. We know that he's not going to have the long reign that his mother has had so he has to be thinking about things already. Ms. Nicol added, because he's already in his 70s, Charles will be a transitional king. He may never celebrate a jubilee. Nonetheless, he will want to make a difference and have an impact. I think we will see him harness his powers. Meanwhile, royal expert Cheshire star Deborah Davis says Princess Anne could see right through Meghan Markle. Right when the Duchess of Sussex married into the royal family in 2018, Queen's only daughter, Anne, understood the real deal behind the former actress. The expert said, Princess Anne is fabulous, she just gives everything that she thinks away on her face, she told the Daily Star. She doesn't need to say anything, you can see it in her eyes. You take one look at her and you can see what she's thinking, she's totally transparent. She continued, Princess Anne is just like her dad was, Prince Philip could see straight through Meghan Markle. He could see her for what she is and so could I, on their wedding day I just sat there shaking my head. I was stood there saying this is a complete and utter disaster waiting to happen. Debbie then went on to add about Meghan Markle's outrageous courage to ridicule the royal family. She has balls of steel, she can sit on that sofa with Oprah and say everything she's said about the royal family then arrive in this country to take part in the jubilee celebrations, that's some brass neck that is, she said.